This is Drew with Boomer Music Company, your band and orchestra experts since 1976, and thepodcastingstore.com, the one-stop shop for all things podcasting and remote learning. This is your weekend update. Well, greetings and welcome to your weekend update. Uh, We're still catching up from being away last week for Thanksgiving. And uh, I'm at the car wash, which is a place I was at last week if you've been watching the videos, which uh, if you saw those, you can guess what it all means, but I'm kind of teasing it and I'll explain at the end why I'm here and what we're doing. Uh, A lot of things going on this week as usual, and uh, we'll get right to it. So without burying the lead too badly, uh, this week saw us win Uh, Style Magazine's Best of NoCo Best Music Store for 2021. We're super honored to have that uh, award. And it's thanks to all of you, the the people who support us throughout the year and who voted in that. So thank you so much. It means a lot to us. uh, And uh, we really couldn't do it without you. Something else that we released this week, uh, video content wise, was from our step up day and we had our string specialist Bob, Sarah and Michael uh, trying out all the string instruments that we had on offer for step up day and uh, so they should walk you through, Bob specifically walks you through the process that he uses to find the right instrument for him and when he's recommending it for someone else. Uh, So take a look at the clip from that video and uh, see some of the thought process behind how you can select a step up string instrument more immediately point them to the instrument that we think might best suit their needs and of course they're going to try it out and then their family or teacher is going to you know weigh in on it as well because how it sounds under your chin versus across the room is going to be different which is why you're handing them all around absolutely and really you need a combination of both it needs to sound good under your chin needs to sound good as you're playing it and practicing and across the room and then you know if you're taking a private lesson there as well but we'll also be there for the process to help them you know find that best instrument it's not about What's the most expensive instrument? That's going to be the best. That's not always the case. It always needs to be the instrument that fits the person the best. And then on this week's View from the Road, uh, specifically, we've got concerts coming up this week. And if you have a chance to go and see some, you really should support these kids and what they're doing. They've been doing a fantastic job throughout the entire school year getting ready for all of this. And the fact that they're even getting to perform at all is a minor miracle. And so it, it would really mean a lot to them to have as much of an audience as they can have. And you're really going to enjoy the shows. So check out a clip from that video where I talk about the uh, performances that are coming up and how we're almost to the end of the semester. The biggest thing that's happening right now is this week is preparation for performances. Next week, most of the schools that I go to have their uh, winter concerts, and the kids have been getting ready for this stuff all semester, and they've been working hard, and I did get a a sneak peek at some of it, and um, getting to sit on rehearsal before I left, and it's, they're doing it. They're, They're thriving in adverse conditions and doing a great job, so if you happen to be in the area and have a chance to go out and see these concerts, please do it. There's going to be a lot of them. And they're happening here rapidly. I mean, we're we're at the end of the semester. There's just not that. And then I promise to pay off for why we're here at the car wash. Well, this week's essay on the podcasting store I titled "The Time That the Trumpet Broke Mid Performance," and that was kind of bearing the lead as well. I was referencing a time that, with my first brass quintet, we went and saw the Empire Brass perform in Boston, and uh, lead trumpeter Rolf Smedvig had the water key break off of his trumpet uh, while the performance was going on, and he turned to the crowd and asked if anyone had a trumpet that he could borrow. Well, someone did, and he borrowed it for that performance, and it turned out fine. And what struck me about that was how he was relying on the kindness of strangers to get him through the performance. We had a similar incident happen on our way home from our road trip where Timmy was sick, and uh, we got to the hotel expecting to be able to do laundry, and they don't have a laundry facility uh, as expected. And the attendant at the uh, hotel offered to do the laundry for us, which was just an amazing thing for him to do. Uh, So I'm cleaning up from the aftermath of that right here, but we were able to get our laundry done. Uh, He went so above and beyond to do that for us. And the uh, second day of driving home was a was much, much easier and a success because of his kindness. So that was uh, the juxtaposition and the uh, the theme of this week's essay. So 
so that's your weekend update. As always, thank you so much for watching and for your support, and we will see you at the store. If you enjoyed the weekend update, do me a favor and follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channels, or visit our websites. This is Drew with Boomer Music Company and thepodcastingstore.com. Thanks for listening.